Yo YouTube, I pre I boys DJ Dragon today with another video and today as you can see on the screen and obviously you click on this video for one reason only you want to know where this man ranks amongst the best units in the game the man the myth the legend the new LF chunks the slice and dice god oh shit my mic the slice and dice god himself chunks um we're gonna be getting to him but first I need to update my top 10 um, if you guys have not seen my last top 10 video, make sure you guys go check it out. Um, let's just run through this hella quick right here. Because I know you guys only come for trunks and whatever else. But it's going to be something like this. It's going to be... I'm going to go something like this for my top 4 in the game. Actually, my, my top 5 in the game. Because my fast spot is um, unchanged. USB number one because this guy is cracked as fuck. USB number two because he's also cracked as fuck. I mean, I don't, I don't think I need to explain to you guys why USB and Ultra Goji are the best in the game, dude. Like USB just has everything. He has everything, every single thing you could ask for. He has, bro. The one of the best ults in the game. He has cover null, but it's conditional on his counter. But his counter is very easy to pull off. Um, infinite card draw speed, debuff stacking heals a lot um short and sub count um has one of the best color changes in the game green green car can combo off it blue car can also combo off it um pretty simple usg i feel like usg kind of eclipses usv in a locking situation i feel like once somebody dies on your team i feel like it really becomes like this honestly it becomes like this once somebody dies um on your team and you have what you going to do because then just like a free a free kill if used correctly but if we're talking like overall easily usv especially since usv doesn't have a zinc buffer and he's already outputting usg type damage and also has better tanking than usv than um usg so it's not it's not really surprising why he's better than ultra gogeta right because ultra gogeta has things that help him but usv can compete with that even without those things aka zinc buffs um emmy above the angel is kind of like a tricky choice for me but i feel like emmy is much more consistent i feel like emmy is just like more oppressive if used correctly i feel like he does have some skill to him i, I hate to say that but it is true if you're, if you're coming against a good emmy player it's very hard to engage against him um he has a free if he if, if you so happen to strike him at the same time you basically lose that engage right there um he has the best neutral in the game one of the best mini builds in the game or one of the best odds in the game Fantastic blue card, fantastic green card. Just generally, op just, just just his oppressiveness on the battlefield once he drops down. Um, the dual cover change is fantastic. He's a fucking phenomenal, honestly. <sighs> a fucking phenomenal. Joids fourth. Yeah, you already know, bro. Joids are joids. Um, <laughs> and Dragon is Goku. I feel like um, if we're talking like, if we're valuing peaks, I put the droids fifth honestly because his peak is very 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 impactful in that match honestly i probably put it above me why honestly if we're, if we're just ranking like peaks dude because his peak is insanely fucking high once he has the main ability once he has that main ability dude it becomes a different whole game it becomes a whole different game once he has that gauge field and his main ability ready to go somebody's dead if he's correctly it's fucking stupid as fuck um but yeah other than that let's rearrange back this right here and um yeah so let's get down to the so here's the top five in the game sally chunks does not break the top five in the game but where he does stand for me personally he stands above tapion above tapion um either he's either he's either a six he's either between the six and eight range on most lists is what, is what i'm gonna be predicting but he's gonna be six on my list honestly i feel like he's really fucking good but i feel like he really shines with support and it's not i wouldn't fault chunks for that because chunks best teams have support aka future go on aka refon aka um droids as well aka tapion can also also support chunks too so i feel like him with support is becomes a whole different monster honestly and i don't think chunks is a future unit i think hold on i don't know why i'm blocking chunks i don't think chunks is a future unit i think chunks is a hybrid unit because obviously hybrids have better chemistry than hybrid hybrids have better equipment than future and, hy and hybrids also has all the, all the support they need to feed into this trunks aka future go on riff on great team and one and two like it's a team just filled with support he has a zenkai buffs on that team that are actually good z ability wise because even though next week future's gonna get the zenkai 7 gohan his z ability is dog shit it's only blast attack 
So on hybrids, he has better Z abilities for him. Um, yeah, and he's just he's just better on hybrids. It's just what it is. But I feel like he's easily the sixth best in the game. I feel like Tapion's just Tapion for me is very good, but I feel like he's lacking extremely hard defensively, and also the fact that you need to pop his main ability insanely fast because if you don't, he's gonna get just get rushed. And without popping his main ability, he won't really be doing anything for your team, honestly. So I feel like popping the main ability is extremely beneficial early on. Just get it out of the way because obviously once they have a rush, they're going to rush, right? Because Tapion's, Tapion doesn't have endurance or um, revival. So rush him, get him out of there, becomes a 2v3. And there you go from that, right? So um, yeah, I got Tapion several. And my list is pretty much unchanged, honestly. I feel like actually I'm going to put VB. Actually, VB top 10, bro. Man. I'm going to VB about AGF though. Um... I have to move some. I uh, move trunks. They move trunks up. I think. I think I gotta move like move trunks up, bro. Honestly, I put these LOE dudes down here. If I'm being honest, dude. If I'm being real, bro, I gotta put these LOE dudes like way the fuck down here, bro. With that cow and shit. Honestly. So I, I don't know. So Weiss, I, bro, I don't know where to rank like Weiss and shit, dude. Cause like Weiss is Weiss still top ten, bro. I, I don't think Weiss is top ten still, bro. Honestly, I'm just dropping on top ten. I'm gonna put like VB here, I guess, or like you no, know, like Revhan, because I feel like Revhan. Um, bro, it's kind of tough because I feel like I want to rank VB high, but I don't want to rank VB high because VB is just like, man, <laughs> why is Wiz there? I mean, Wiz gotta go down the fuck. Honestly, uh, Wiz gotta go down, bro. Twenty-four hours later, bro, I, I don't fucking know, though. Like from from eleven to to fifteen is, is ass. Honestly, like it's just. Like, I don't know where the fuck to put any of these units, bro. Honestly. Like, you know what? Alright, fuck it. You know what? Fuck it. I'm putting all these niggas down here, bro. Fuck all these niggas, dude. I don't know where the fuck to put them, bro. Honestly. I don't know where the fuck to put any of these niggas. But yeah, YouTube, this is my top 10 units list. Um, As, as, as I said before, from 8 to 11 is kind of screwed. I don't know where to put these guys. Because I never see them in ranked. I, I, I deadass only see the top 8 every game. That's it, bro. Top five mostly every game. Six, seven, eight here and there. But yeah. Let me know what you guys think of Trunks down below in the comments. How do you guys um, see him? Is he top 10 for you? If he is not, I want to know why. If he is, I want to know why. Start a discussion down below in the comments. This is ZVG. I'm joined by the infamous Twitch chat. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. I want to love you guys. This is ZVG out. Bye.